I feel privileged and honored to have been chosen by Florence Veteran Committee to create the first public sculpture for this park. For me, he has an additional emotional side to it. Both my father and my father-in-law were liberated from the concentration camp in Mauthausen by American Army. For years, people of Florence dreamed of creating Veterans Park. Between them, Mayor Frank Wallace, the Veteran Committee, Rick Walden, the Chairman, Tom Marshall, the Co-Chair, Clifford Gate, the memorial part of it, and many other veterans and volunteers were intimately involved in making this dream a reality. It's difficult to believe that just a year ago, nothing was here. FBI construction and the CTV Drew Griffin's team made this magnificent job. Let me describe the sculpture to you. It consists of three granite pillars of 24 feet high, with six bronze plaques that you can see representing different branches of our uh, military. At the very top of the pillars is a bold eagle landing on the live oak, holding a rattlesnake in his talons. The eagle symbolizes the United States, and the snake symbolizes our enemies. When you stand between the pillars, you enter what I call the meditation chamber, where you can become a part of the sculpture and all it represents. As you look up, you will see the eagle landing on you. The veteran park will be both a memorial and educational park for all who come to visit. The sculptures that we will install here in the future will tell the story of our veterans and their families. This sculpture could not have been done without unended support and goodwill of many individuals and institutions. My former colleagues of GE, City of Florence, Madden family, my wife, and many, many others friends and good wishes. I especially want to thank for the people of Florence for giving me such a unique opportunity. Thanks.